So I wanted to show how I solve a Rubik's Cube. Now, this is just kind of randomly turned up. I mean, I haven't done anything specific. You know, there's no algorithms that I've done. I'm not a speed cuber. Um, I, I'm, I, I don't. I've learned a few algorithms and I can solve a three by three. Um, and I wanted to try and make this easier for people uh, that maybe haven't ever solved a cube before. So I'm gonna kind of go through this you know, feel free to pause the video, whatever. Um, and we're going to take this a few steps at a time, which is the way that I learned it. So, starting off, we've got the white side here. And, of course, these center pieces never change. I mean, you can see yellow, blue, red, or, yeah, red, sorry. Looking at the camera. So the very first step that you're going to want to do is keep the yellow up, which means the white's on the bottom. And we're going to build basically what's going to be a like a uh, like a flower okay so you're gonna have white here and yellow in the middle and we've already got one so now we're gonna look and so here's our yellow side we've got one right here so I'm gonna take this one and I'm just gonna turn it right up now I've got two now I'm gonna go I've got one over here so I've got to position that one in a way that allows me to pull it on top. Now I'm going to find my last one and it's right here. If I just turned it up, see I would just be replacing one for another. So I need to open up a spot and then turn it to the top. Now I've got it. Four white pieces and a yellow. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the side. So this white piece here has orange. So you line it up with the orange and you turn it to the bottom, which puts it white with white. Okay, now we're going to turn this over to blue. Two turns on the bottom. This one's green. Two turns on the bottom. And this one's red. Two turns on the bottom. Now when you flip it over, you've got a white cross. And you've also got a corner. You've got a piece here too, which it's actually not even in the right place, but we don't care about it right now. What we care about is this because the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in this bottom and make it white. So the first thing that I look for is I look for pieces that are facing me that are ideally up on top. Now here's one on the bottom and I don't have any that are that way so there's a move here and I'm looking at it from this perspective. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get one of these white pieces up here on top. So I'm going to turn this one up, turn it over, and back down. And now I have a white piece on top. There's my white bottom. So now, where does it go? Well, it's got red. It's got white and red. So I'm going to turn this till it's lining up with the red center. Basically, you're always wanting to line up with the, whatever the center is. Now, the movement from my angle is up over and down and what that did is that moved that see how my reds here whites on the bottom that's lined up real good now so now I have another one here this one is green and white so I'm gonna move it over here to the green side I'm going to try to do this backwards if I can so that you can see this and the movement is whoo well this is gonna be different up Oh, I don't want to mess it up here. Here's my green. Okay, I think I got it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, over. See how I line these two up? And then I turn them to the bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to continue doing that. Here's another white piece. Up, over, down. I've got one more white. It's on the bottom. So I'm going to move it up here to the top. Same algorithm. Up, over, down and down. That's what I call it. Because I'm basically turning up, going over, and I'm going back down. I didn't need to that time. I was just trying to demonstrate. So what you will wind up with is you'll wind up with these centers lined up and really the first row and the bottom will be white. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this second row here. That's our next one. So what I'm going to do is, we don't care about pieces that have yellow on them right now, because yellow is on top. 
So we're going to look for pieces that don't have yellow and then we're going to line them up with the center colors. So in this case, this one's red. I've got red on this side. You know, if you look, this is blue and red, right? Okay. So what you do is you turn it away from the red, right here. You go up, over, down, over, like kind of like that, and that probably wasn't very good. Okay, I had to stop the video. I had a phone call uh, from my wife. So, anyways, what I'm going to show you is how to get these sides filled in. So this is green. I've lined it up with the green center and it's red on top. There's my red side. So what I do is I turn it away. Here's my red. Here's red. I'm turning it away from the red. I'm going up, away, and down. Okay? Now, what I could do is I could just go ahead and solve this out just like we did before. Remember how we did the up, over, down? So I'm going to do that this time just to show you. So I'm going to go up, over, and down. Now look, the bottom's still white. I filled in red here. So we've gained. Now, I do something different because I've just kind of come across a way that made this faster for me. Uh, we do have something that we need to flip here. You see how this is green with orange and it's green here. So we're going to have to move this thing. And we've also got the same thing happening here. So. I'm going to try to, what I usually do in this case is I do up, over, down, and then I flip the top, I rotate the face, I go over and back down. And that gets my white back again. And what it really does is it moves that piece out here to where I can get to it. Now I've got that piece up here on top, now it's the same thing. It's just away, up, away, down spin the top, turn the front, turn the top, and back down. And that's my shortcut method, right? So that's what I'm going to do the other way so that you can see that. We've got to move this one, okay? So I'm going to do my up, over, down, and then I usually turn the top, but we're not. I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, I'm going to line this up so it's white and orange. So now I've got it lined up here, see? So now I'm going to go to my orange face, and I'm going to do up, over, and down. And now I've got the bottom fixed again, and I should have a piece that I can move. And I do. It's right here. So that got it freed up where I can get to it. Now, same algorithm. Away, up, away, down. And then I'm not going to do the my shortcut this time. I'm going to go back here to my orange side and I'm going to go up, over, and down. Now what we've got is the bottom two rows are solved and the bottom is still solved. Now we just have to work on the top. But we don't normally actually work on the top by itself. What we're actually getting, when I say top, I'm talking about the top row. I'm actually going to work on the very top, which is the yellow in this case. Remember, you always want to keep the white on the bottom and the yellow on top if you're going to do it the way that I'm doing it. So on top you're going to have a pattern that's going to form. You're either going to have a dot, like a yellow in the middle, or you're going to have like this L shape here, or you'll have a line, or a cross, or what they call the fish. And I'll show you that in just a minute, but basically it's four of them that are filled in like this, and then it's got uh, what would it be here? Just the two up here like fins. And we're going to get to that point. The thing that we're trying to build right now is this fish shape on top. And you will wind up with extra pieces mixed with it sometimes. Um, so if you have this, I've got this pattern here. So this is going to be a different algorithm. I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to do this one. Um, which I could show you this better. Um, Basically, I'm going to turn the face up, over, down, over, up, up, up. Nope, I thought I messed it up. I didn't. So I go, that's the move. And I, I know that was fast, and I apologize. I'll try to 
we'll go through this again. I would do want to tell you this real quick if you don't already know this about cubes. Um, if you repeat the same pattern over and over, you will get back to the same place you was. If you do the same algorithms, the same turns over and over and over, you will wind up in the same position. So, anyways, now we're to this point. I've got a white or a yellow piece here, which that's a good sign. Um, what we're going to want to do is, they call this, and really, it, they call it like, this is kind of like the fish pattern here. If you were to block this out, you would see the fish pattern. And this is the food. That's what I've heard it called. I mean, I don't know. But the algorithm is up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down. Now, what I usually do is I turn these and I line up the side that is you know, the one that I can fill in the most. Some people say the dark side, so we'll try that. Um, I'm going to go back to here again, and I'm going to do up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down. Up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down. Now I've got a cross. So I've got something different to work with now. So I'm just going to try rotating my top. And like I said, I'm, I know there's better ways to do this. I'm not doing this the most efficient way possible. But I realize that if I basically just play with it enough, I wind up with my fish pattern. And then I also wind up with a little dot over here next to the side. You see how this fish is now pointed this direction down and this yellow piece here. So what you want to do is you want to turn that to where it's facing you where if you were to look down on it, it looks like this. And you're going to do this pattern starting with the fin side over here is what I call it. The head is this right here. These are the fins. And those are my yellow pieces right here. So I'm going to start with there and I'm going to go up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down. And I've got my yellow top solved. Now the only thing I have left is I've got some pieces that are kind of out of alignment here. That's not a big deal. But what we're shooting for is we're trying to get one side, one of these sides, remember yellow's on top, of course white on bottom, one side is solved here. And we can do that by basically taking one of these sides, and this is how I normally do it, and I've got this blue side here and I've got two red dots on top, okay? So what I do is, this is a different algorithm, um, and I go... Two, this one gets a little dicey it seems like to me it took me a little bit to remember this one and the next one but what I do is I kind of turn this to where it's away from me and I do let me make sure I turn the bottom twice up over down over twice and back up and I know that was pretty fast uh, if you're trying to follow along um, and I got this red side solved now I've got one side done. Everything else is done except for these sides right here. And these are there's one algorithm to do at this point, and you just repeat it until you get it solved. And that algorithm is going to be turning the face twice, turn the top once, side down, side down, turn the top twice, side up, side up, turn the top once, turn the front twice, and it's solved. And that's it. So that's how I solve it. Um, like I said, I do it kind of, I mean, I, I, I could probably research this and, and uh, maybe improve this some, I'm sure. But uh, for me, you know, it's just, I, I keep doing things and I, I begin to notice things, kind of like my little shortcut pattern. Remember how I said that if you do something over and over again, that it'll repeat, it'll come back to where it was? Our cube is solved now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that one algorithm I was telling you about where it's up, let's see. Remember that one that we did where we was working on the top? And we're right back again. It doesn't matter what you do, you can do this one. And really, that's the way that I do it whenever I was practicing. See how I've kind of flipped these around now? I, uh, I just keep doing the same one. I'll get a cube that's solved, and then I'll begin practicing my moves. 
and then I know that if I just keep doing the same move correctly and I don't mess it up, then I'll wind up in the same position that I was. So it's a good way to practice your algorithms because you'll know if you mess up because it, you <laughs> your cube will be scrambled and you'll have to start over again. So anyways, that's that's that one. Um, this one is a little was a little tricky for me to remember and there's a center slice that they call it that you can do that will speed this up and it seems like whenever I try it I usually wind up forgetting which way I turned it for some reason and I mix it up again so basically you're turning the face twice, the top once, the side once, this side once, turn this one again twice, this one once, turn this up once, turn the top and then back and you're back to where he was again. And I did that algorithm I think uh, three times maybe four and I got back to here so I will try to see if I can get one with a different angle on it. Maybe I can set up the camera and we can go through this again here. Okay, so turned out, I think I can do it this way. I'm going to try to adjust my focus here just a little bit. Okay. Um, I am behind the camera right now, so this is going to be a little tricky because I'm going to try to solve this by looking at the screen and maybe peeking around the corner a little bit here every now and then. And like I said, I know that there's algorithms. If you look it up online, and I'm sure there's apps for it, I know there certainly should be some for Android, that will help you to get a good official scramble. I just, honestly, a lot of times. Uh, and something that I would encourage you to do would be to sit down and research um, how to turn it. Uh, they call it, you know, like... Uh, they will give you directions like right would be like this, right prime would be the opposite direction, turning it towards you. Um, top, top prime I think is what it is. Front, front prime would be this way. So anyway, it's really good to do that. And the one thing that I would encourage you to do is to try and maintain your cube in the same uh, orientation. I mean, you're, you're going to work off of the same orientation. However, you don't necessarily have to keep it there. So, for example, I'll, I'll move it around a little bit just to make it easier to get my hands on it. A lot of guys that will speed solve, it seems like they will hold it like in one position and then they'll flip from here like this. Which, this is good practice too, by the way. Um, but they will turn the top with these, side, side, front, front, and then bottom like this. Or they'll turn the back like this. Um, I don't do that most of the time. Um, I mean, I, I do incorporate some of those moves, I guess. But, again, I'm not a speed solver. I don't claim to be. I, but I, I did sit down and learn how to solve a cube. Somehow I got back to here. Um, it doesn't look like I'm mixing it up very well. Maybe do a few center slices. This is a center slice where you basically will turn the middle. It's like I'm actually turning that too, but you'll spin the middle, right? The reason that I sat down and tried to learn how to solve cubes, I really need to get this mixed up better. My, my youngest son, he actually challenged me to it. He said, I give you one week to figure out how to solve a cube. And I did. Um, I did have to look up the algorithms again. I did not. Um, I did not use CubeSnap, which is a very good app, by the way. If you want to check out CubeSnap, it's what I use to learn, um, and it really helps too. Because sometimes, you know, whenever you're starting off, it gets frustrating if you can't. I mean, you want to get back to a certain position, but your cube's mixed up, and you just you need help getting it back to a solved state. So, anyway, if you'll remember, white on bottom yellow on top of course I've got a white piece here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for my other white side pieces ah here they are well wow, that was easy it's like I didn't scramble it very good so I'm gonna get this back to a state to where I've got these four white pieces and then I have to line up my sides and turn it to the bottom like that Go to this one, there's blue, turn it twice, okay, got to turn this top, 
There we go. Turn that down. Turn this down. Now on the bottom, we basically have what's called a white cross. I mean, we've got a couple of other pieces that are in the right place here. But now we've got to get the rest of it. So we find our other white pieces. I always look for ones on the top row first because those are the easiest ones to get. So here's a white piece. Here's the green. So I'm lining this up with green. And I do up, over, and down. Then let's go to the next one. Now it's like we're missing one. I've got one on the bottom. So to get that on top, I turn it up, over, down. Oops, don't want to mess that up. And then I'm going to line up this orange here and do up, over, down again. Now you'll notice I shifted one. That means it wasn't in the right place. Here's the white. Here's the orange. Up, over, down. Now the bottom solved. And the bottom row is solved. And you'll know that it's right because your centers will be lined up. These are like the letter T, basically. Okay. Now we're going to work on these guys. So now what we're looking for is we're looking for pieces that are not yellow. Here's one. This is blue, or I'm sorry, red and green. So here it is. I'm working here. I have to look up here. Okay, that's red. There's red. So I go away, up, away, and down. Now, this is where I'm going to do the first one without my shortcut. So here I am. I've got the TV playing in the background. Um, so if you will turn this, I'll turn that down just a little bit. This has gotten a little loud. Okay, so now I'm going to get this piece here moved around. So I'm going to line up my red side. There it is. It's going to go right here. Watch. Up, over. See how it lines up right here? And all you're doing is you're just turning it right down on the very bottom. Now we're going to go to the next one. Okay, here's red and blue. Let's spin this around on my blue side. Okay. Red. There's red. Away, up away and down. Now I'm going to do my shortcut. I turn the top back, I spin the face, I turn the top, and then I turn it back down. And what that lets me do is I get to keep it in the same orientation. I don't wind up changing things around and it's a lot faster to do it this way. Um, again, I'm, you know, I don't do speed cubing, uh, but um, I mean, I'm not going to complain if it's a little quicker. I've got some weird side piece things going on here. Notice that. So to fix those, here's what I do. I go up, away, down, over, spin the top, same algorithm, okay? But what that does is that moves a piece out to where I can work with it now. See, now I've got this guy up here. So here's my orange. Um, here's my green face, right? There's orange. Away, up, away, down. And then my little shortcut, spin the top, turn the face, turn the top, and back down. And it's kind of cool because you can watch it all kind of happen right in front of you. Uh, I think that that helps with the helps your mind with the orientation and what's actually happening. Uh, but you know, don't have to. We'll go back and I'll show you the original one. That's a little easier um, to remember. There's less moves anyway to remember. Eventually, what you'll find out is it's just muscle memory. You'll just do it and it'll just turn almost. So, anyways. Uh, Here's a blue, orange, there's my orange, away, up, away, down. Now I'm going to do my the, the other way here. I'm going to turn that over here to orange. Notice I just turned it one time. So now that it's up, over, down. Bottom's still solved, and the bottom two rows are solved now. Now we're going to work on the top. We've got the L pattern right now. So what I do is I kind of try to find one that looks like it's solved, and I just kind of turn that one to the back. I always leave my yellow on top, though, okay? So we'll put the blue on the back. I've heard, you know, put the dark ones on the back. So darkest side on the back side. So anyways, here we go. Um, this is going to be the algorithm that you repeat over and over as you begin to build this top into a fish pattern. See, now I have a line. Now, see how this changed a little bit here? Okay, starting to get closer. I've got a blue here. See, now I can go ahead and turn that over. And I'm going to work and leave that blue right there. And here's the algorithm, okay? Let's step this back. It is here, 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 here. Okay, 
Did you get it? Now this is actually an L. It just has an extra piece on it right now. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do my other algorithm to get this thing lined up a little bit better because, like I said, you'll begin repeating yourself. If you don't make any progress, try something different. That's what I always say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this other algorithm. And we'll try this one more time, a couple more times. Like I said, I know that I'm not doing this perfectly. I just have fun doing it. Um, I'm kind of repeating myself again now, you'll see. So then I'm going to do a different algorithm to kind of change these pieces up a bit. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, actually, I, let me back up. I think I may have messed up. I didn't mess up, but I don't have to do that other algorithm. I'll show you the top one to get this solved. What you're doing is you're doing this algorithm here to get as close to that fish pattern as you can. And if you get a line, make sure that it's going this way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down. Okay? Line up this guy. We'll try from here. Up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down. Aha! Got a fish pattern now. Check it out. That's what we want. Here's the fish. Now we should have a yellow piece somewhere. There it is. There's our yellow. So the fish is pointed this way. This is a fin and a fin and this is his head. You want this piece, in other words, you could do it from here, but you're not going to you're not going to solve the top. We should solve the top in one one algorithm now, and we should have a flat top. This should be all well of course it's flat, but it'll be yellow. So here's my fish. It's pointed this way. There's no yellow. So I'm going to turn it. Okay, this is the side I want facing me. This is yellow. Here's the fish. So I'm going to turn this one. Up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down. Top solved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the one that is most solved and I'm going to stick it on the back side. Now, here's my move that I'm going to do. This is different. And I don't know if I can talk and do it at the same time or not, so I'll just try to go slow. That's it. And we're getting close. Okay. Getting close now, so now I'm going to do this algorithm. Should be getting close to get a high. See, now I've got one side solved. And that's what you want. Yellow on top, get that guy solved, doesn't matter which one it is, and turn it to the back side. And now we are on the home stretch. Here we go. Basically, you're going to repeat this last algorithm and I would say maybe in one move it might be done. So here it is. Boom, 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 boom. And we're done. That's it. Back that up. Watch it again. You know, that's what I did. And I just basically, what I did is I started off with one thing. I want to solve the white side. Or I want, first thing is just yellow with four whites. That's it. You know, the little flower pattern. Do that. Then mix it up and do it again. And you'll probably get that one really quickly. As soon as you have that, all you got to do is turn those things down to the bottom, line them up with your sides, turn them down, and you've got a white cross. And then do it again, and do it again, and do it again, until it's just like, man, that's easy. I got that. No problem. Once you have that, then work on solving the bottom. That's that up, over, down pattern, right? You re just keep working on that till you get the bottom solved and scramble it up again. So break this into steps. You know, white cross. Uh, solve the bottom. Then solve the bottom too. That's where I got for a while. It was like, okay, I got there pretty quick. And then it was just trying to remember what to do up here. And like I said, sometimes, you know, I don't do it the most efficient way. I didn't do it the most efficient way on this video. Um, it does work. Uh, you definitely can improve what I'm doing here. Uh, I just haven't really invested additional time into it yet and given it the thought because uh, you know, I've got other things I need to do. So this is just something that I enjoy doing. 
I think my best time for solving something is around a couple minutes or so. Uh, we may try to do one of those here real quick and see if we can solve one in two minutes. Okay, so I mixed it up. I did not use a, a scrambling algorithm to do this. I mean, you can kind of take a look at it. I tried to be fair about it. I'm not cheating on any of this because if, if you cheat on it, then you're just cheating yourself. Um, so anyways, I'm going to try to see if I can solve this um, just by doing it. And I'll show you kind of how, how I would typically do one. So it uh, looks like we're getting close to about 30 seconds into this particular clip here. So... Here we go. All right. Uh, okay, got that, got that. All right, now I'm gonna turn this. Okay, looks like I'm missing one, so. Okay, got the bottom. Now, uh, let's see, this one should have another one. Okay, I've got a side. There we go. It's kind of messed up. Now, I should have it out. And I do. Okay, getting close. All right, so there's that one. All right, it looks like I got the bottom ones. I'll just kind of spin it like that, but. All right, we should be getting close. Got my fish. Got the top. All right, so now I'm gonna spin this guy over here. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And let's do this. I like that better, I think. Let's try this. Done. Oh, no, it's not done. I thought it was. Crap. Gotta do it one more time. Alright, looks like one more. Now it's done. Okay, got it. What was that? Uh, that was about, I don't know, a couple minutes or so. Two and a half minutes, something like that. Anyways, and it wasn't really a, I did scramble it up, but I mean, like I said, it wasn't a perfect scramble. Most of the time when you get it from somebody, it's not going to be though. Uh, so anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if it does, let me know. Like I said, I know this is not perfect. I know there's better ways of doing it. I'm not trying to you know, to be the best cube solver. It's just something that I've always wanted to do and I never really took the time or dedication until my son challenged me to it for, said I had one week. So it took me about a week and I got it. I, you know, it wasn't great, but I did it. Um, and then over the course of about the next month or so, I got to where I didn't have to look at the algorithms, I just did it. And as soon as I could do one, I did it again and I did it again. And then I would scramble four cubes and I would set them all down and I'd sit down and I'd hand them out to people and say, here, scramble these. And uh, they'd scramble them for me. And then I would sit down and solve all four of them. And then I started trying to kind of keep track. Okay, how long does it take me to do four cubes? Okay, I get four cubes in about 10 minutes. That's pretty good, you know. Um, and then eventually things begin to click and you can start picking up shortcuts. So anyways, hope that helps. Uh, pause it, back it up, um, you know break it into pieces, start off with just the white cross, then go for a white bottom, then solve the bottom two rows, uh, pick up the app Cube Snap. it's the one that I used, they have, it, it will solve it for you using your camera, taking pictures of the sides, uh, that's good to do in my opinion, and then after you do that, flip back to the algorithms, there is three by three tutorials built into it that are basically links to YouTube videos. And it's a great app, does a good job, it works on iOS, which is what I use, um, and then just keep referring to those tutorials. 
Uh, just watch them, do it again. Eventually you will get to where you can just sit down and solve a cube. And have fun doing it. Thanks.